Hey everybody, this is Shadow. And I always seem to wonder why uh, it said Sonic got through Act 1 of um, Hidden Palace on when it's only one act. That's strange. But anyway, here's the cutscene that follows you beating um, Battle Sonic in Hidden, Hidden, not Hidden Palace. The, the stage I was just on last video. Yeah, we just go, it's just a transition straight to Death Egg. So here we are in the Death Egg Zone where, um... Usually this is the place where I... Usually this zone is where I tend to die quite a lot without uh, the aid of Shield and or Supersonic. Um, fortunately, I tend to have a lot of luck around here and don't really get hit at all, that much. At all. You gotta be careful with that, um, those, uh, slidey things that slide you all over the floor. Because that, that, that the one there, I believe, I saw, I think saw, I think it was ADSF, that, ADSF Sans Let's Play of this game. Where we actually glitched into the wall. It was rather funny at the time. And it, uh, it has actually also happened to me in, um, previous playthroughs. Where I've actually glitched into the same wall he actually glitched into. Anyway, this level has annoying enemies like that thing which tries to poke you in the skull with its spikes. And the other ones which throw the spiky balls. Which is, which I, I believe the official name for those ones with the spiky balls is called Spike Bunkers. So that, that's what they were called in one of the Sonic comics when they were seen. I, I believe they were seen during um, Sonic and Knuckles when the um, Fleetway comics were doing um, the Sonic and Knuckles storyline and Knuckles, kicked, Knuckles got, got Sonic to the death egg and he was surrounded by them and they, called, they said they were called Spike Bunkers. I don't know where my the official manual is because usually that tells you the name of the bad necks in the game and I believe they're called Spike Bunkers. I don't know what the uh, other one's called. But those things, those things I've just uh, gone through sort of make sort of make me motion sick now nowadays. I don't I don't know why they make me motion sick now. Whenever instead of when I was playing as a kid, and it didn't bother me at all whatsoever. I don't know. I just find it really weird. I believe down here is a passage with an invincibility, which helps. Because I can grab rings and just skip this uh, tedious conveyor belt to help stay on the conveyor belt and just run through it. Obviously, you can also do it with the uh, supersonic, but uh, I have a shield, so no. Now, around here is actually a good place to get a bunch of rings if you actually decide to get the rings before actually beating the puzzle, which is usually what I do. But basically the puzzle is the see the middle thing with the yellow yellow and red uh, dots on the side? You're gonna make all the dots turn red, basically. I don't, and I don't know if there's a glitch, but if you were in this area you're on the floor, oh you do run forward and then you run backwards. Instead of doing the little flying around uh, sprite animation that you're doing there. Which I thought was really, really weird. And of course it catapults me into one of these. There's two, I think there's two variants. There's the one which goes side to side like that and there's the one which goes pretty much everywhere and anywhere. Which I believe is this variant. Which is the one that kind of makes me the more queasy. It's like, we it's all twirly whirly around. And it's this which actually takes up quite a lot of the time in this level and the next act as well because there's a few in there as well. Now around here is the uh, boss. It has two phases. The first phase is like the Metropolis Zone boss you fought with uh, Metal Sonic. Uh, what you want to do is uh, 
smack the eye and the ball things will explode into spikes which have to avoid. When all that's done the um, eye thing comes out of the cylinder thingy there and spreads two platforms. When you hit its eye this time it gets really really uh, pissy and throws a laser beam down underneath it. Easily avoidable, uh, watch the platforms have spikes on them, it should be alright. Or if you're like me you can cheap it out with uh, Super Sight. And that is uh, Act 1 of Death Egg. And uh, nothing really much to say other than see you next time for when I do the second act of Death Egg. Ciao, people. I also don't know why it paused. Go figure.